Hey, what's poppin' everybody? How's it going today? So last night I got a chance to get out and see Super Troopers 2. And you know, funny story, I don't think I've ever actually sat down and watched the first one the entire way through in one sitting. Like I've seen Super Troopers and I've seen the entire thing, it's just I've seen it only in bits and pieces at different times. So now officially after seeing this one, I'm gonna have to go back and watch that the whole way through. Because I literally almost pissed myself laughing in a room full of strangers. But anyway, not that it fucking matters, but the basic plot of the movie, it's about all the guys from the original Super Troopers, they get relocated to a Canadian town because there's actually an age-old dispute over where the American border actually ends, so they end up kind of having to Americanize this Canadian town, which causes a little bit of trouble with the locals, and it causes them to get into a scuffle with the local mounted police force, and then a whole bunch of funny shit happens, and the plot really ends up not mattering that much. Like, this movie isn't fucking Fargo, it's a sequel to Super Troopers, what'd you expect? Now, obviously, you can tell by my enthusiasm that I had a whole buttload of fun when I went and saw this movie, and really, I only had, like, two or three negatives about the whole thing. The first problem, appropriately, was actually the very first scene in the movie, because it was fucking bad. And it freaked me out, too, because the whole time I was thinking, okay, there's no fucking way the rest of this movie is gonna be this bad. If it is, I might walk out. Luckily, it picked up, and the rest of this movie just shits all over how bad that first scene was. The other problem that I had, and, like, as I expected, they stereotyped the fuck out of Canada in this movie. Which is fine, because it's all in good fun. Like, this is a comedy movie. It's supposed to make you laugh. It's not, like, it's not coming from a place of hatred, necessarily. But in so making that stereotype, the shtick got a little bit old after a while. Like, after a little bit of the movie, it's just like, okay, we get it. Their accents are different and they love hockey and like moose and all this other shit. Like that whole entire shtick just kind of got stale after a little while. But however, the jokes that they used within that shtick actually ended up working, so it kind of kept my attention throughout the entire movie. And again, like I said, the plot's paper thin, but who the fuck cares? Because besides all that, this movie is a fucking factory full of laughter. And realistically, that's about all you can expect from a comedy movie. Like, even if it's not like artistically awesome, at least it can make you laugh, and that's what this movie fucking did in spades. And one of the coolest things about the movie is that the marketing campaign didn't fuck up the entire entire movie for me. At a certain point in the movie, I realized that the trailer for the movie did not show you shit for the funny parts. And that's always the biggest fear. You're just like, oh, maybe they showed all the funny parts in the trailer. But in this movie, fuck no. The one scene where the two officers are dressed like Mounties and they're speaking in like fake French to somebody they pulled over, the shit they show you in the trailer is like not even half of the scene. And the rest of it is way fucking funnier than what they already showed you. Like, honestly, if I wasn't so dehydrated from the amount of popcorn that I ate, I probably would have cried in the middle of laughter. And on top of that, there's a fucking slew of these low-key movie references that only fucking movie nerds like me would actually enjoy. Other people might not get them, but it won't distract you from your enjoyment of the movie. I'll just give you a hint. There's a Blade Runner reference, and there's also a Wonder Woman TV show reference, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, guys, overall, this movie, not fucking Academy Award worthy, but it did its job, and I laughed my ass off. So when all said and done, I think for a score, overall, I'm gonna give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10. Lots of fun. The audience was fucking howling the entire time. The Canadian shtick did get a little bit tiring, but they found a way to work within it so that they still made it funny. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? Have you seen this movie? Did you see the first one? Hop in the comments. Let me know what's up. Other than that, if you like this review, give me a like, subscribe to all that other bullshit, and I will catch you guys later.